If you're going to use PowerPoint in your presentations, there is one thing you must remember. You must never allow PowerPoint to lead your presentation. Most people make the mistake of sitting down in front of a computer to build their presentation and they stare at a blank PowerPoint slide. That's a mistake. First, decide what you're going to say and then work out if you need a slide to help you to say it. If you want to avoid death by a PowerPoint, you must put into practice what I'm going to share with you in this video. Watch it now. Rather than go through a whole series of words and text or bullet points on a page, you instead craft visual models for your material. Visual models. Think seven habits of highly successful people. Think Abraham Maslow. Think about the hierarchy of needs. Think about Tony Robbins, six human needs. Think about Tony Robbins, triad. What are all those things? They're all frameworks, simplified frameworks. What you have to be able to do, and I'm calling you an expert now because you are, and even if you're not yet, you're going to become one. Experts do one thing and they simplify complex ideas. If you can't simplify complex ideas, you're not going to get people buying into your thing because they're going to get overwhelmed, they're going to get confused too quickly, too early. So the way to avoid getting too much confusion or overwhelm is instead to build more simplified models that you can get agreement with every step of the model along the way. For more great public speaking training, watch Andy Harrington's main video on YouTube by clicking the video playing right now. On Andy's main video, you'll find lots of useful tips, tactics and strategies to improve your performance in front of a live audience. To watch Andy's main video, just click the video playing right now.